Hello and welcome to... Uh, this is the first episode of my single player Minecraft adventure. And what I've kind of kind of decided to do something a little bit different with this series. So I've said in previous episodes on, on the Lake Logai series and, and whatnot that I'm, I kind of want to challenge myself a little bit. But I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to do that. So what I've decided to do is I found this pretty cool little seed. Um, I, I quite like it. I think there's quite a lot around. But what I want to do is get you guys to suggest the theme or the lore for this new world. And the idea is that I'm splitting the map up into various different sections, different areas. What's that? Is that cool? Ooh, cool stuff. Yeah, I'm, I'm splitting the map up into various different sections and whatnot, uh, which should be showing on the screen now if I've done this right. So we're currently on that Mesa Island right in the middle there. And as you can see, we've got a single solitary tree, which, yeah, hopefully I can get more than just the one sapling from. And this is going to be our first town or city or whatever we decide to build here. Now, what I am going to do, obviously, is get myself a little starter area set up. And I need to do a little bit of exploring and, and resource gathering because, yeah, we're in a mesa. Um, so <laughs> there's not an awful lot of stuff that we can actually do here right now. And twerking doesn't work because <laughs> this is this is vanilla. We're on pre six, um, so we're on the absolute latest snapshot at the moment. So if there are any bugs, I may have to revert it or something like that, or even just sort of start again or whatever I end up having to do. But yeah, so this this island, this is going to be our first city, I suppose. There's a few things around. Ooh. Ooh. I spy, and we would be right at the top of the plateau as well. I spy sugar cane. Excellent. Yeah, so I, it's going to be... I, I'm not going to go for any particular theme in this episode, I don't think, because I just need to essentially build myself a dirt hut, and yeah, that's that's pretty much it, to be honest, for, for now. So we'll get started. Maybe we'll go on a bit of a wonder, see what we can find. From the map, we've got uh, a jungle to the east of us. We've got a desert to the north, and then we've got some some forests and swamps and, and whatnot to the south, and then we've got even more mesa to the west. So at least we should have lots of gold. Not that we're going to be using that for anything, but hey ho. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna gather a few bits and pieces together. I'm gonna maybe build a dirt shack and wait for this tree to grow and I'll be back with you. So it's <laughs> it's nearly night and I've got next to nothing done. I've got a little bit of red sandstone and I've got a little bit of terracotta actually. Yeah, smooth sandstone. Uh yeah, so yeah, I've got normal terracotta, some smooth sandstone. Tree still hasn't grown. So what I want to do is get off this island as quickly as I can for now because there's gonna be spawns so what I need to do is head north because there's a savannah there so I want to get some of the uh, some of the acacia trees and maybe see if I can find some animals for food oh that shouldn't be doing that oh look there's an enderman straight away Okay, so it's struggling a bit with the gen. This is a new world, so that's understandable. So yeah, I'm gonna head head north. Um, there's a desert that I need to pass through first. I'll catch up with you when I get to the savanna, I suppose. We finally reached the plateau, and there's a plains biome there as well. And while the world is loading in, my frames are still dropping, which is perfect, especially for a single player world. However, uh, yeah, one of the other things that I wanted to say, obviously, um, I'll bring the map up now. We are just in this little sort of alcove, uh, quite far to the north, uh, to the north of the desert. I'll, I'll point it out here. So we've got the plateau there. We've got the 
plains biome there. We should have a jungle a bit further around there, but we'll, we'll go and have a look at that later. Not this episode, later on in the series. We'll go and get ourselves some some wood and maybe a cat or two. We'll see if we can find any and see if there's any temples to, to raid. Along with the coming up with the the theme for our first city or town or, or whatever we end up building on that mesa island i'm also thinking resource packs texture packs whatever you want to call them now i'm currently using let's have a look i'm currently using the vanilla tweaks pack um i do have uh, an old chroma hills pack i've got conquest uh, Faithful, Halcyon Days, John Smith. Is there a particular resource pack that would go well with any of the themes being suggested? So if if we're talking, oh, let's do like a little medieval town or, or something like that. Maybe John Smith's, maybe something else. If we have got... Oh, I don't know, some sort of Western or piratey or, or uh, some other sort of theme. Is there a resource pack that you think would go, go quite well with that? I'm more than happy to continue using Vanilla Tweaks or Faithful or, you know, those are my sort of staple resource packs that I always use. But if there's something that's going to add to the series, that's going to make the builds look a little nicer, then by all means... Oh, yes, the sun's coming up. It shall be safe soon. Yeah, by all means drop that in the comments as well so we're looking for a theme or some law and resource packs style of builds not not like oh build the great pyramid or the sphinx or like not specific buildings but a theme an idea um uh yeah a, a, a general sort of theme or law or whatever Ooh. yeah because Specific builds, yeah, not quite so interested in. Um, themes and... Ow! You, you sod. Why are you no dead? Oh, it's not properly light yet. I don't want to leave UFO tree, but I don't want to have to fight him. I have no food, I have no nothing. Um, oh, there's some pigs over there. Excellent. Um, okay, 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 okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cut this tree down. I'm going to kill this skeleton. Um, I'm also going to have a play about with my quality settings to see if I can get it a little smoother. It may be because I've... It's it's a, a, a standard world gen. The only difference is I've cranked the dungeon spawn rates up to 50. So it's not it's not crazy. It's not 100 like, uh, like I think they're doing on the Hermitcraft Season 5. And the same that we have on my Patreon server, which is hosted very, very kindly by Captain Irony. Um, but yeah, it's it's been cranked up, so I can only imagine that's why it's 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 loading in or, or giving me these frame drops. So I'm going to have a play about with those. I'm going to kill this guy over here and probably die myself a few times. Gather up some trees and ooh, and yeah, I suppose I'll probably just meet you back at the base. I may even go and raid the plains a little bit for some more oak and, and whatnot. And I'll, I'll meet you back at the base place. Okay, I've been having a bit of a play around here. This is rubbish and not finished. And this is just going to be really, really temporary anyway. As I've said, this is just a, a little base for me to start the series from. Fill it up with chests and whatnot. It's not going to be... It's not going to be here soon. Uh, I just wanted something that sort of fit into the background and I know it's rubbish uh, it's the first time I've used these materials I kind of like the wall design I like the, the textures but it's it's a box it's just a box for me to live in while while you guys decide what theme I want uh, what theme I want what theme I'm going to use I have been a little busy while I've been doing that as well so I've obviously I've built my little base here what I've also done is started a mine. I don't know if we can see it. There's a little hole just on my crosshair there. In fact, I'll show you it because there's something quite interesting. I think maybe possibly we'll just run over here really, really quickly. And we need to swim and stuff as well. 
you can see I've got a little bit of food. I need to sort out some way to get a constant stream of food though because I just, I've got nothing here. So I've got my, my mine here. I found, uh, where is it? There we go. I found eight iron. In fact, I'm going to smelt that up now because literally as I was digging my tunnel, obviously we're in a mesa, so many, many golds, which is pointless. <laughs> but yeah, we've got, we've got loads of gold here. If we come just down here, literally as I was starting, we have diamonds. So we'll do that this episode, then call it quits. The other thing that I wanted to point out was if we come all the way back up here. Can you hear that? Can you hear that, zombies? I think we may have a spawner. So this could turn into our mine and an XP, XP farm. Obviously, I have increased the rates as well. So fingers crossed there's more than one. But even if there's one, it's, it, it gets us started. And if we can find some villagers, rotten flesh is never a bad thing. Maybe there's a skeleton spawner down there as well. I don't think so. It, there might not even be a spawner there. But all I can hear, I don't know if you can hear that. All I can hear is zombies, nothing else, which makes me think that it probably is a spawner. Skeleton spawner, I can hold, I can cross my fingers or press my thumbs together for that, but I can't hear any skellies. And, and I would have thought, I don't know, I don't know. Anywho, yes, there we go. So let's make our iron pick. One other thing, oh yes, one other thing I thought might be worth mentioning is just over there, just over there, there are some... There are some rail tracks on, on the ground, which also makes me think that we're going to have a mine shaft over there. So that's something to explore in a later episode. Anywho, short and sweet, all done. Get your thinking caps on. What's the theme for this area going to be? Now, but bear in mind, I, I don't know if I said this earlier because this is a day later and I've just had to cycle home from work because my car's off the road and I'm absolutely knackered. But... The idea is that once this island is complete, once once I'm I've got it into a place where I'm happy with it, that's going to be the end of the season. That's going to be the end of season one of whatever I'm calling this series. I haven't decided yet. I'll come up with that later. And then we, when we start season two, it will be a new area of the map with a new theme and and a new everything else. But that's something to to think about. So this theme is for this island. I'm gonna I'm gonna do some mining. I'm gonna do some resource gathering and, and everything while I wait for for any suggestions that may or may not roll in. I really hope you do, and I really hope you stick something down in the comments and give me some ideas. This is it's more of a challenge to myself than anything else because if if I'm left to my own devices, I'll I'll just do the same thing that I always do. So I I want I want a challenge, not something that's going to be impossible, and not something that's going to be crazy, and and not specific builds. That's the main thing. Just a theme, a lore, or I've said it so many times. Anyway, that's going to be the end of this short introductory episode. I will keep an eye on the comments. I uh, hope to see for. I hope to I hope to hear from plenty of people with loads of really cool ideas. Let's get our first diamonds. Yay! Thanks for watching and I hope to see you very very soon on this series. If not, I will see you on the lake very shortly. Bye-bye.